Hi there, it's Michelle from CNC Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Zealand. And I just wanted to share with you some beautiful cards that I recently received. I uh, participated in a swap with some fellow demonstrators. And what that means is that we made cards with some of the new um, products from the new Stampin' Up! catalog. And we sent them off to each other. And so for every card we sent off, we'd get a card back. So um, I sent 10 cards uh, and I got my own card back plus nine other ones done by demonstrators um, here in New Zealand. And I just wanted to share with you what um, I got and what the cards look like. So this is a card that I sent off. Um, it's made with the um, World of Good suite. And I've actually done a video uh, showing that as well as um, a post on my blog um, about this one. So if you do want to see it, um, you can go to the video. So this is um, using the beautiful world cling stamps and this one was done by myself. So um, it opens up and the world actually spins. So um, that card spins around and that's the one I made and I sent off um, and I got nine beautiful cards back for um, giving other people this lovely swap card. So that's mine, and this is what I got in return. So this one here uh, is says beautiful inside and out, and this one was made by Vicki Lee Mueller, and it's using the Forever Fern and the Band Together um, stamp set. So the Forever Fern is right there on the outside edges, and I'll show you, um, I'll open this one and show you the inside, um, because it's a um, special fold card. Just show you what I got in there. So this one, the um, die cut in the center is holding the two pieces together. So it opens up like that. So as you can see, um, the center of the card, there's nothing there. So it's these two pieces held together with the beautiful die cut in the center. And then you can see the die cut when you open the card. So that's a beautiful card. Thank you so much, Vicki. And then this one is um, just saying hello, and this one is, oh, this one I don't think it actually says who it's from or how they made it. It doesn't. Um, but this looks like um, it might be some of the Fern Designer Series paper, and I'm not sure the name of that set there. Um, it's got the feathers and the same. So thank you to whoever um, traded that one with me. This here. Uh, kindness is always in style. This one is f using the Dress to Impress stamp set and uh, Flowers Every, S Every Season ribbon. And take Tasteful texture Textile Embossing Folder. This is from Kenzie Benbrook. So um, I'm not sure if you can quite see. Um, if I hold it up to the light, there's actually textured embossing on... Um, that background cardstock and then these pieces looks like she pieced them together and then embossed that as well so that's got the old world paper embossing on it and the stamp is from um, the uh, dress to impress set so that's a very beautiful card there and then the next one um, this one is uh, using the lovely you stamp set from Emma Sh Sherwin I think Sherwin or Shewan. So um, that's just doing the scrappy um, paper technique where you just cut your cardstock into different strips and then just layer it up. And then she just um, uh, did the white embossing on a couple little bits from the um, Lovely You set. Really pretty card there. This one here, um, awesome at any age. Uh, this one is using the Itty Bitty Greetings from Allison Hides. So there you go. That's the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set. And then we've got embossed with the brick embossing, a bit of designer series paper. And the die cut there was, is the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies to have the words there beautiful card there and this one I've just got and started playing with the stamp set here 
Um, it's Celebrate Sunflower, and this was made by Mareke Ross. And um, so I'm just trying this out today. So I'll have some tips about using the die cut here. And then the little thanks a bunch. And this is using our new, um, some of our new colors. I think this is the Moonlight Madness um, color there. So that's beautiful. And the flower designer series paper matches so nicely. This one I've had a fair bit of playing with. I've got some videos I'm using the jar punch online. And this one is um, Jar of Flowers and Forever Blossoms. Um, and it used its subtle embossing folder as well as the jar punch. I'll have a closer look at that. So if you have a close look at it, you might be able to see that crumb cake just in the background there has got the subtle embossing on it. And then it looks like they stamped with probably Versamark on three different colors of cardstock and then punched it out. So those are the floral designs that come with the um, jar um, dies, the jar of flower dies, and then you can punch them out. I love the way that she did that. And then um, that is a um, die cut image there. And that one looks like, uh, she doesn't say which one she used, but it's the glimmer paper. So that's quite lovely. Sorry. I got a new um, holder for my phone and it's wobbly. So those are just popped up with some dimensionals to give it some height. Beautiful card there by Megan Thierry. And then this one here by Jenny Moulton. Again, the jar of flowers. Um, and she made an interesting, it almost looks like a bookmark, but it is a card. Um, and she used the butterflies um, uh, from, um, I think it's Butterfly Bliss, those butterflies there. And so you can see the lids coming off the jar there. Oh, she's got the words going there to a wonderful friend, going sideways. And then it opens up. And then you have some flowers inside the jar. So that's quite nice use of the punch and the jar there. And so it looks to me like she must have colored those with the blends because they bled through and that's what you get when you use blends um, to color things. It does bleed through. So thank you very much, Jenny. And last but not least is this cute little booklet here um, using some of the designer series paper and the little um, flower, I think. I just recently got that set. Um, it has... Uh, little notebook in it and so that is the ornate style stamp set and it's using um, what's it using the ornate layer dies so that's where you get this lovely design there and um, she colored it with the stamping blends and it doesn't say what designer series paper that is but that's from Amanda Mathers so thanks so much, Amanda. Nice little booklet. So that keeps your little notebook nice and handy. I might use that idea to make some things for the craft market. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing all those lovely little swaps that I got from um, people. And uh, if you are a demonstrator, you sh should reach out to other demonstrators to um, see about doing swaps. If you like any of the things that you've seen in this video, you can contact me through my website, michellecritchley.stampinup.net, if you want to purchase any of the products that you saw here or have questions about any of them. Let me know. Uh, if you're in New Zealand and don't already have a demonstrator, you can go there to um, purchase items directly from me or go to stampingup.com to find a demonstrator near you if you live elsewhere. And if you would like to see how to make this um, spinning world card, have a look at my other YouTube um, videos. I did this a um, few weeks ago. Uh, so have a look at it. I think it's um, called the world of good spinning or spinning world it might be called. Um, on my YouTube. Give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you'll see more videos in the near future. If you go to my blog, I believe I do have a post for that um, there in June uh, 2019.
2020, you'll see the post for that, which is papercraftaddiction.blogspot.co.nz. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.